Hello and welcome back students to part 3 of our first unit in AS level human geography and in this lesson we will be looking at how population characteristics are measured. Okay so how do we measure the characteristics of a population? Populations and characteristics are measured using something we call a census. So a census is basically a questionnaire given to each member of the population that asks questions about the standards of living, ethnicity and personal information. So for example, I'm sure you know how it is, you or your parents will receive a letter in the post which will ask you all sorts of things about your age, um, how many children you have, where you live and basic information on yourself which is then used for both governments and businesses. So once they have all this information, it allows them to um, make really uh, our country a better place to live in. So the usage for governments. Now, <coughs> for governments, the censuses allow them to predict future natural and migrational change. So this can be um, compared to former trends. So the government will then be able to know, so for example, if the um, fertility rate is rising, that they're going to have a big increase in population and that increase will uh, involve a lot of more children. So it can help them estimate future housing and transport needs. Staying on to my first example, if there's going to be a increase in the fertility rate and more children will be born, um, there's going to be greater demand for schools. So the government will then know to build more schools. It also shows ethnic diversity when this is, you know, useful for the governments because then they can know really the balance between um, the amount of ethnicities in the country itself and really how many um, immigrants there are. So then they can cater towards those needs. Perhaps um, there are quite a few social pressures that arise from migration and immigration and economic pressures as well. So then the government won't know what to do with these pressures um, that it can have. So, for example, um, we're going to be looking at migration later on in the unit, but for example, if um, people feel that they're losing sort of the English feel of the town because there are too many migrants, the governments can then be able to resolve that. Or if the migrants um, decide to send money um, back to their own country, that can harm the economy of the UK. So the UK will then be able to um, resolve that issue enforcing certain laws. Okay, now for businesses, the government, the census is also given to businesses as it allows them to find the locations where spending power is at its highest. So um, businesses knowing where most people spend a lot of income. So, for example, in London, as opposed to a town such as Sheffield or a city such as Sheffield, um, businesses can then decide to locate their uh, their stalls in places where their people are going to be spending a lot of money. So therefore, they can get some more revenue. It also finds locations where footfall is highest. So it may be that one part of a town um, has more footfall than one other area. So they may decide to locate there. And it also allows insurance companies to assess more risk more effectively. So if in one place, um, you know, more people may be dying because of X or Y, then um, the insurance companies are able to change the insurance rates in order to um, cater to whatever is happening in the outside world and also gives information for target marketing so what would happen is based on the sort of um, ideas or opinions of the population in a certain area the businesses can cater how they're going to market their product to that population in order to achieve maximum sales okay so here are some questions I'd like you to attempt these once you're done we we'll pause it first of all and then hit play and find the answers Okay, so here are the answers. Once you have um, corrected your issue, your answers and are content with how you have done, I'll move on to the next video, which will be the factors of population change. So you can find this on the playlist or on my channel, along with um, a variety of other topics to revise from. So until then, I will see you next time.